Hello everyone. Uh, today I've came to a location that uh, it's one away from the norm. A lot of people don't bother coming here for maybe they don't know where it is. Glen Lion, fantastic location. We're going to head up the hill to the, the Praying Hands and I'm really looking forward for I've not been here in over a year. So let's get up this road a little bit. Well, I finally got to the, the praying hands. Uh, it's a bit of a bloody track uh, up here. Uh, it's, it tells you that you need to lose a few pounds. This weather wasn't supposed to be uh, coming in. It was supposed to uh, disappear uh, by two o'clock. However, it's hanging uh, on the hills here. So I'm going to quickly uh, get the, the shot that I've came from uh, because that's the that's the bloody rain on. Now it's it's fantastic location as I said a little bit of a walk to get up here takes about well takes me about half an hour 45 minutes uh, from where I park the, the car I'll certainly be uh, needing uh, to get a lot fitter uh, for the, the winter because I've got a lot of locations that I want to go to so I'm happy you know I'm happy with the, the composition as you can see here most shots that you'll see from the playing hands they're done portrait mode i want to do uh, something a little bit different you know when you have to you have to shoot to the conditions as well so i'm just going to show you the composition and explain what i'm trying to, to capture uh, today now i'm just going to explain the the composition uh, now that you, you're seeing the the praying hands properly i'll, I'll explain from the right hand side. Now, the right hand side of the praying hands, you may be able to make it out. There's a there's a track there, and that's running down into the, the praying hands itself. So there's a leading line. I'll probably end up flipping this here image uh, in Photoshop. Then we've got the, the praying hands itself, the praying hands of St. Mary. Now, as you can see, the, the thing that makes this here uh, unique is the split. And if it didn't have that split, then it would probably not come up to, to anything really, for it would just be uh, another rock formation, the same as thousands out there. But that there split certainly does make a, make a bit of a difference there. Now, beyond, beyond the praying hands, the, the, today you can't really see it, but there's a, you know, I mean, there's a few hills running down the, the valley, and just behind the, the praying hands on the left-hand side, uh, if you look closely enough, there's there's a, a, a clump of uh, a few trees there. So hopefully I'll be able to pull that out there. This this here image today, it's shouting out black and white. And I've came as close as I possibly can to the praying hands because I want to make sure uh, that I get as much detail uh, out of those rocks uh, itself. Now I'm only using uh, the one filter today because that, as we saw, behind the praying hands, it is pretty, pretty bright. I have to make sure I keep that as dry as I possibly can. It's a Lee, uh, it's 0.9 medium grad that I'm using today to try and blend the, the sky, get a bit of detail out of the sky. Now, as you'll notice that the, the filter's going in at an angle because of the, because of the, the valley. Now, the, the rest of the setup, F11. Now, I'm using ISO 64 at the moment just to slow that down a little bit just in case I can get to like that little bit more uh, of a detail uh, in the sky. Now the shutter space is going to change uh, as the light does at the moment 
one twentieth a, a second, F11, and as I said, ISO 64. It's only to slow that down uh, a little bit. ISO 100 would be uh, good enough. Using this a 16 to 35 F4 Nikon lens, that allows me to get as close as I possibly can so that we, we're getting the shots on the pen hand itself. That, that is the main feature here. Yeah, it's, I can say, I can say I certainly pulled a bit of detail uh, out, uh, out of the, the sky. Now, because I'm using it at a point medium grad, the tips of the, the praying hands, it's going to be a little bit darker. So that there is where in Photoshop, I'll be able to balance that to make sure that it, it's perfectly the way, uh, the way that I want it. So I'll, I'll carry on, taking a few more shots. The rain's, the rain's, that bit of rain has disappeared. Uh, so may try a few different compositions to see what I can come up with. Just to put the praying hands in perspective, I'm five foot nine. As you can see, it's a damn, a damn good size here. So it's definitely worthwhile uh, coming up here uh, to get a shot. Now, if you do bring uh, a dog with you, I always bring a spike, spike magoo uh, into it. There's a lot of sheep here. So you have to be responsible. So I can't wait to get back. I'll probably uh, edit uh, this shot here shot in black and white uh, tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, watch a bit of the football as well and thank you for watching